It seems to me Jesus in the first part of the passage was saying, bring the power, heal the sick, preach the kingdom, radical manifestation of God's power. And then turn around, he's saying, and you need to give them something to eat. Give them your lunch. Meet needs. We've got to meet needs in the physical and meet needs in the spiritual. To me, this is the balanced kingdom of God. Does, this, does anybody agree with this? Does this sound biblical? Thank you for that one hand clap, Terry. I appreciate that. <laughs> How's the grace that we're still working on our amens and our hang up. We're going to have to teach a class or something. No, that's big. Because the devil tries to, he wants us to be, but what if we got it all lined up? What, I've, been on, I've been with missionaries. I, I, I've had the, the, the honor of being in several different countries. And a missionary friend of mine, we were in the Dominican. He said, there's so many groups here. They run out and they start a school. And they feed the kids lunch. And those kids need lunch. But those kids are dying and going to hell and they're never preaching the gospel. Mm. Shame on them. Yeah. Well, we're just trying to build a bridge. Build a bridge, but then walk over it, for goodness sake. We do build bridges. You know, our church is more involved in the community than ever before. We're, we're on the chamber, we're on the board of directors, we're on, we're, we're on the board with this new Bible class that's going to be in the middle school and the high school. We're, we're, we're involved, we're going to make a difference, but we're not just going to do good stuff and never mention Jesus. We're going to pray for people. We're going to share the gospel. If you believe this, would you say yes? Yes. Amen. So today's title is Step Up. Wherever you're at, I just want to challenge you. I just want to challenge you. Would you step up? Like, if you haven't become up, there's people in here in a room this size. We all know in a room this size of people. There's people here. Who, the, the truth is, you haven't yet made a decision to follow Jesus. You haven't decided to even be a follower. You've come to church. You've heard some good things. And you felt some things inside. And you weren't sure what that was all about. It was kind of good and kind of uncomfortable at the same time. Y'all remember that feeling? It's called the Holy Spirit. He's convicting. He's saying, today, today. And that uncomfortable silence is just for you, God, out there. <laughs> if you feel that, oh, I need to go to the bathroom right now. I'm talking to you. You need to decide once and for all, are you going to follow Jesus? And, and you know what? Don't do it for me. Don't do it for your spouse. Don't do it for your kids. That won't stick. And you'll be confused and fooled and discouraged and won't work. You've got to decide for you. So if, if you're like, well, no, I'm just I'm not doing it today, then I would say it's better to not do it. I mean, I can't guarantee you'll be here next week. I can't guarantee you get another chance. I, I've been to two funerals in two weeks. One, uh, one lady was 89, one I was 39. I don't know when I'm going, but I'm ready. Are you ready? It's going to happen. Ten out of ten people die. You're going to die. You're going to face God. And if you don't have Jesus in front of you, you'll pay the price for your sins yourself. Don't do that. Don't do that. It's so unnecessary. So decide. Decide to follow Jesus. But I just don't want you to do it out of pressure. I want you to do it out of commitment. Decide to be a, don't be just a, I sat at the altar and prayed. I signed a card. I gotta, decide that you're going to give him life. You gotta decide that you're all in. I'm to the point now, and I'm not where I want to be yet, but I'm to the point where I just, on a weekly basis, I just tell myself, I'm all in. I'm betting my life on this fact. I'm betting my life. My whole job, I can do a lot of different things, believe it or not. Do something. And it probably pay a lot. But I, I'm just, I'm all in. I mean, like the, 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 the guys with the chips on the world poker thing. And they just say, I'm all in. And they get up to the table and everybody's like, oh, here we go, here we go. And they're waiting to see, they're waiting to see the, the, the flip, the turn, whatever that is, that last one. They want to see, how's it, is it right? Is it right? I'm all in. I'm up from the table. I'm just, decided, are you all in? Have you decided that Jesus really is real, that he's God, and that he's your God, and that you're going to, not just, oh God, please don't let me go to hell, but God, I want to live for you, I want to serve you, I want to be on your team, I want to be a follower, I want to be an ambassador, I want to find my purpose and my fulfillment, because I've done everything else, and it didn't work. 
Or maybe you're like, man, I'm doing good with God. I'm going through some stuff, but he's being unfaithful. But I've really just been trying to survive. i just been trying to take care of me. I don't know if this fish are going to be in I don't know if I can do that, but I've got a lot of stuff going on. And Jesus, I don't know if it was a convenient time for everybody. When he said, it's a step up day. It's move up day. Wherever you are, there's probably something else that you could step into. Maybe, I don't know if it's in your witnessing, if it's in your word, if it's in your praying, if it's in your church commitment, uh, in your kid. I don't know, but there's, for me, there's always another step. Just when I think I've got one, two, three, I, woo, I'm on the stage. It's like, oh my goodness, there's another. And right when I get up there, I'm like, thank you, Lord, I'm comfortable. Oh, good gracious, thank you, God. It's always another step. Step up. Don't miss it. Don't let it just be another sermon you heard. Please. Amen? Let me pray for you. I'm going to pray for you right where you are. Um, i tell you what, we're going to do it. I want everybody to close your eyes. We'll kind of do this a, a, a traditional way where we just have a little privacy right where we are by closing our eyes. If I want to pray for you, but if you're like from that first group and you want to surrender to Jesus for the first time, not recommitting, for the very first time, I want to pray for you first. So everybody, just please give me a few minutes to pray here and just stay with you with your eyes closed. So if you want to give your life to Jesus for the first time, just raise your hand for a minute for the first time, first time, first time. Father, I thank you for those of us here today who have heard your word. I'm not going to ask you to stand up or get up this time. We do that, but not today. I'm going to let you sit right where you are. But I want you to pray this in your heart. I want you in your own heart. You don't have to say it out loud. God hears your heart. I want you to say, Jesus, I want you to be my God. I'm tired of being the boss of my life. I give you control. Help me to surrender to you daily. I want to find my purpose in you. I know that I have sinned and I'm not perfect and I don't want to pay the price for my sins. I want to accept the free offer. Jesus, who died on the cross, who rose from the grave, and he lives today, is coming back. Be my God. Help me to connect with his church family, to let the pastor know, to have the courage to do something about this decision so it's not stolen from me. In Jesus' name. Now, those of you, uh, those of you guys, keep your head down if you would. If you're saying, you know what, I, I, I just want to get things right. Uh, I could really use a tune-up with Jesus. I want to recommit. I want to get refreshed. I want more. Something like that. Would you just raise your hand? Let me see your hands real quick. Amen. 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 Anybody else? Anybody else? Don't miss a chance. Amen. Let me pray for you guys. God, I just ask you to refresh us. Holy Spirit, we need a refreshing from you. Um, it's not about whose fault it is. We know it wasn't your fault. It's always our fault if we move away. You never move away, but you're so patient with us, Lord. We want to come back to you. We want to sit in your lap. We want to sit next to you. We want you uh, to be close to us. Would you help us to be refreshed? Would you forgive us of our sins in the name of Jesus? We thank you, Lord, that you do forgive us and that you love us and you're faithful. First John 1 John 1.9 says, we confess our sins to you. You are faithful and just to forgive us and cleanse us of all unrighteousness. Thank you, Lord, for that. We ask you to be real, to be uh, right here with us. We want to do life with you every day. We want to live with you. You are the, you give us the joy of our salvation. Restore the joy of our salvation, Jesus. We love you. We honor you. Um, if you have, um, one, one more thing I want to pray for you. If you have like something going on where you're just saying, I need God to do something. I need God to do something. I, I just want to pray in faith with you. So if you need God to do something, tell you something, direction, move, healing, breakthrough, all right? God, I just thank you for these people who are saying, we need you. We're in a desperate place. If you don't do something, God, um, it's not going to work out. So God, I, I pray that you would just move mightily, that you would either move the storm or move us. Uh, Lord, we, we need your help. You are the God who moves the mountains. Would you move this mountain or either move us through it, Lord? We don't know how you want to do it, but we just say we've got to have your help. So bring healing, bring wisdom, bring breakthrough, bring your will, your kingdom come. Your will be done in our lives as it is in heaven. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Well, guys, I'm going to have uh, John come up and close us and take up the offering and the communication helps.
found it. Have you been blessed today? Yes. If you if you raised your hand for any one of those decisions today, I encourage you to put that on your communication card so that.